Hello everyone, uh, today's topic is mining in East Africa and to those who are new at this channel please we request you to subscribe and click that button right now to help us actually support uh, our channel. Uh, to those who have been part of us please we say thank you and please comment where you need us to do more and above all for any other question. So without wasting any time allow us move into mining in East Africa. So want to understand what it entails and mining. Uh, what type of minerals we have, minerals in different kind of countries. Uh, this uh, topic will be broken into different uh, segments. Uh, that's lesson one, lesson two, lesson three, because it's quite big and long and we need enough time on each segment. So today we shall look at what is mining, we shall look at the mineral types and then the different minerals found in these different countries in East Africa. So we move on. So we are saying, what is mining? Mining is the extraction of natural resources from the earth's crust, basically for economic use. Uh, we've seen different kind of minerals extracted uh, through different kind of methods, which we shall see ahead. So it, it, briefly, it's just the extraction of natural resources from the earth's crust for economic use, for economic purposes, commercial, selling, uh, producing different kind of commodities uh, from raw materials, semi to uh, finished, for example, as we shall see, oil, uh, the crude oil turning out to be uh, PMS, petroleum, and diesel, and then kerosene. So what is in store for us today? As I've said, we have types of minerals in this Africa. That's what we're going to look at. And then we shall look at the factors that have favored mining, and then contribution of mining sector, and then environment problems due to mining, uh, definitely there are quite a lot of number and we need to see how we can control those. Then methods of mining, problems facing the mining sector in East Africa, and then solution to the problems at above. And then case study of diamond mining in Mwandui, that is in Tanzania. So in our first lesson today, we shall look at already what we've just seen, what is mining, and then types of minerals in East Africa, and then we conclude at that. Then the next segment, we shall look at factors that have favored mining, contribution of the mining sector and environment problems due to mining and then lastly we shall look at methods of mining uh, problems solution and then lastly we shall look at case study so we shall break it in four different kind of lessons so for today let's look at the types of minerals and then mineral deposits in different countries of east africa moving on types of minerals if i may ask what types of major types of minerals do you know so today we want to look at the two, and that is number one, we look at the metallic minerals in the metallic kind of nature content. So these include iron ore, the gold, the cobalt, the copper, the tin, the wolfram, the tungsten, the zinc, and then the manganese. So these are metallic in nature, and that's why we group them under metallic minerals. Then we have the non-metallic minerals. These include the petroleum, the phosphate, the soda ash, the sand, the clay, the gypsum, the mic, the coal, mention them. So these are non-metallic. So under the types of minerals, we have metallic and non-metallic minerals. So we want to move on to different kind of countries, and then we see the mineral deposits that are found there, starting with Burundi. So under Burundi, we are saying these are the different kind of minerals that we see in Burundi. So we have quite a number. So we have cobalt, we have copper, we have nickel, and many others. We have gold and some bit of limestone. So we are saying, Brun, for example, uh, the second largest, has the second largest coal, 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 coal town reserve in the region. About 6% of world nickel reserves. But these resources are currently being extracted by the artisan uh, methods. So we are saying uh, these are still using the local way of extracting these minerals. As we said earlier, we shall look at these different methods. So Burundi has major the nickel, and then we are saying uh, some bit of copper, and then nibium, something like colobin kind of mineral, tin, and others. So looking at the map here, I think we can tell where we have the mineral kind of deposits around this area so we see that 
so so much in that area now where actually where you see the map of different the key the key is just down here tells us so the the blue kind of shape and then the green and then so nico is the green so we have it around this area you can see all oh, these are mineral deposits of nico so nico is quite in large deposits in burundi uh moving on we have uh that is kenya mineral deposits kenya has quite a number of minerals looking at the map right there so we are saying uh we have gold we have gypsum looking at the map the map is well laid out there so that's the gold it's around this area and then we have the gypsum we have the gold again we have the phosphor we have the iron ore mission quite a number there so uh the soda ash so the ash mentioned them so it has metallic and then metallic minerals and quite a number of them that has some some are not listed up here but this map will help us to 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 see where these minerals are located uh, so that's the map just trying to show us the mineral deposits in kenya moving on so we're saying uh, this is tanzania one of the country with quite a number of minerals uh, deposits so looking at tanzania we're saying mining tanzania includes metals gold as we mentioned earlier nickel copper and others then some minerals like diamond uh, put tanzania on a map of uh, minerals because tanzania is one of the most valuable min uh, sorry diamonds one of the most uh, valuable mineral and it's located in tanzania as we shall see yesterday that is andamandui uh, diamond mining so they have quite others non-metallic as we said the soda ash they also have the gypsum we see salt we see phosphate we see gravel sand and many others uh in tanzania so this map helps us just to locate uh, these uh minerals as we can see here using this key so quite a number of these minerals are located in tanzania and tanzania has quite a number of mineral deposits uh, giving it a big, a big, a big sector and the mining. Uh, moving on, so we have what we call also Rwanda mineral deposits. Rwanda also has quite a number. So we are saying Rwanda's mineral resources include castorite, uh, calton, a uh, wolfram, and then peat. So we are saying used to this the use of these uh, just used to electricity generation. And we are saying uh, we also have gold. We have nickel in addition to this type. So I think uh, uh, graphite, granite, volcanic rocks, kile, sand, and gravel, these are also other types of minerals that we see in Rwanda, uh, having also quite a number of minerals in uh, that country. Move on. Lastly, uh, we want to look at Uganda mineral deposits. Uh, looking at this map, we see Uganda mineral resources uh, that include cobalt, gold, uh, that is copper, iron ore, uh, tungsten, uh, we see steel, uh, we see uh, the new mineral so far that we have, that's the oil in the Albertine region around this area, around this area here. We just didn't, 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 didn't locate it very well, but around this area, we tend to see um, oil. Actually, it is one of the most uh, current mineral exploration that is taking place in uganda and then with other quite number of minerals that we see there the phosphate the clay the sand the tungsten the gravel the gypsum limestone in tororo that is around the tororo hills uh so far we're also seeing the granite coming out of karamoja region and then gold in karamoja region and then gold in Mubende uh region then we also see um the sand in different kind of swamps in uganda so uganda is also having quite a number of mineral deposits in that area so today we wanted to look at the mineral deposits in our second lesson we shall have to look at the factors that have favored this sector so first we wanted to understand the kind of different minerals that we have and then the types of mineral that we have so we said earlier so we have the metallic and then metallic and then through what we have just seen is the East African countries with their different mineral deposits. So later on to our lesson, we shall look at the factors, the factors 
uh, or that have favored actually this mineral mineral depots or min, uh, min, min, mining sector in East Africa. And that's where we shall be going on to into our next lesson. Please stay tuned. Uh, don't forget uh, to subscribe to this channel and above all, leave a comment for any question. In our next lesson, we shall start from there. Factors that have favored mining in East Africa. I want to say thank you and see you in the next lesson.